So, what we're going to do this time is just cut around the head, just nicking the skin, and then just flick it out like that so you've got something to get hold of. And you need a cloth. <clears throat> and then with your thumb, work it on the side of the fish. Um, you'll notice I've left the head on this, these are really tough. I've left the head on so as I've got something to keep hold of essentially. Can you cut down over the knife if you're not strong enough to take it off? No. <laughs> Gotta be really long. Yeah. With place, it's best to leave them a couple of days to stand if you're going to do this. These are just out of rigor mortis. So. <clears throat> so that's the first side there. Then what you've got to do is just roll the skin off. What I forgot to do, and I've just been reminded because it's gone under my finger now, is to take that spike off. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a ladies present? No, I won't. We ain't like we normally do. So you just follow it round the gut cavity. Like that. Did I make like nails? You might struggle with yours. How much did you pay for them? <laughs> 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 I do. No, it's fine. So just push your thumb along. <laughs> go around the outside first. Yeah. The and then what you've got to do then is just gently, and what you're going to get is the bellies will tear because they're in row, they're really soft. You've basically just got to roll the skin off then. I can get hold of it. Oh, we're not getting the better on this. <laughs> The reason you don't tear the skin off is because it will tear the flesh as it's done on the belly of this one. And the only reason it's done that is because they're soft. Because they're in they're out of season essentially. Right. Can we just do one side? <laughs> what you're trying to do is leave, is leave this membrane on because that's what's going to hold it together when you get it in the oven. So turn it over and the same thing, just nip the skin and then just release it. The white side is easier usually. One of the lads on the last course, he did, it took him three quarters of an hour but he persevered. Everyone went to dinner. He took his time, he got a really great finish because he weren't rushing. This one's broke the frills now because, because of the road. We really do this with Dover soles, but we can't afford it. Yeah, Dover soles. Yeah, I've got I've got these soles. I do, I do that with Dover's, but yeah. Dover's just come. With a the Dover, though, you do it from the top down, yeah. sorry, from the bottom up, yeah. so from the tail. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Same process, it's just much harder. Yeah, it's a bit rougher, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So it's it's not yeah, you can put it. When I first said to the fish competition, we used to skin scope. And that's really hard. Mm. And they're covered in thorns as well, as you know, thorn mm. back rays. And you do exactly the same, you just peel it back like that. Yeah. <coughs> These are just so soft. And again, if we'd have used previously frozen plates, I wouldn't be having all these problems. Trim the tile, yeah. trim the frill. So is it best to keep the frill on then? Yeah. What's the advantage of keeping the frill on then while you, you know, doing bone tearing the skin? 
because it's just something to get hold of. Yeah, it usually holds it together. Because it's so crackly, I'll probably take the head off of that. Get the blood line out. Because these are in row, it's going to be difficult. But have a go at it, you'll get the idea anyway. 